Alright guys, phases with one more video. I did one uh, earlier tonight talking about how a semi-automatic works and I mentioned the Glock Safe Action System. So I did say I wanted to do another video describing how that works. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. It should be a pretty quick video. Let's do a safety check real quick. Clear. Clear. Alright. This, this gun is safe. So we will continue. Glocks don't have the traditional safety that you might think about when you're a new gun buyer, you know, going out for your first purchase, you might ask, does it have a safety? And that's what I did. I said, do, does this Glock have a safety? And they said, well, it's got three. And I said, well, I don't, I don't see it. It doesn't have a safety. You're like that. I move with my thumb and they said, well, it's got three safeties that you, you disengage with your finger. And I said, let me be a little more direct. Does it have a physical lever that I turn? that keeps the gun from firing until I turn it again. And they said, no. And that's okay. I got into Glocks anyway and bought it. So Glock people will tell you, your safety is your finger. You don't fire the gun if you don't pull the trigger. You don't pull the trigger unless you want to fire the gun. Um, and that's true. And they make a fair case that, you know, that their argument is if you need to pull the gun out, if you need to use it, you don't need to be fumbling around with a with a safety. You need to get it out, you need to pull the trigger, and you need to be safe, you know, and take care of whatever is threatening you. And that's a strong case. I can dig it. Some people need to get over it. I I took ten or fifteen minutes and I got over it and you know, bought my first and then my second and then my third Glock. Now <clears throat> They do have three internal safeties, which is why you hear people say things like you can drop a Glock and kick a Glock and throw a Glock off a cliff and it'll never fire until you pull the trigger. It doesn't fire unless you intentionally pull the trigger. That's what they tell you. And that's that's true. It's not going to fire unless you pull the trigger. It's a physical impossibility for this thing to fire otherwise. And I'll explain why that is. All right. So see this little this little bar or Excuse me, let me get the focus here. See this little this little lever? Without depressing this, this trigger is not gonna move. It's not gonna go back. I'm just I'm holding the sides. Unless you press this guy in. See that? Now, I know what you're thinking. Well what good is that? I mean that seems a little weird, because when you're pulling the trigger, I mean you're obviously gonna be wanting to pull the trigger. You're going to hit the lever. It doesn't make sense. Well, it sort of does make sense. It keeps the whole bar from moving at any other time. Um, that has to be depressed for the trigger to go back at all for these other two safeties to release. Okay, and unless those two safeties release, it is just physically not possible for the striker to hit the primer. And I'll show that. All right, so let's make sure this guy is safe. Yep. Take them apart real quick. All right, so all right, so those are we went over your trigger safety. Now, once you squeeze the trigger safety and you start pulling the trigger back, this whole bar kind of starts to move, and your firing pin safety, which is this guy, and your drop safety, which is this guy. Well, it's them interacting with these two parts respectively, this guy and this guy they begin to do their role. Okay, so you're pulling it back. What this guy does is lift up. Now, this firing pin safety, oop, almost lost that again. This firing pin safety is spring-loaded. Go like this, spring-loaded. And when it's all the way up, or all the way down, the passage is blocked. See, see nothing coming out of this hole down here? That's because it's blocked. Now, you go about halfway with it, you can get it to fall through, because you clear it. Alright, see? Alright, so this needs to go about halfway up for the passage to clear. And then this guy back here, which is the drop safety, well, this is the back of the striker, it's back of firing pin. I guess this guy is more of what is called the drop safety. But see the back of this, oh that glare. The back of this guy holds on to this. And when you cock the gun, 
this comes back and it gets held it gets held back by this guy and then as you pull the trigger this goes up it clears the passage by pushing up on the uh, firing pin safety and then this guy goes down and when it goes down it releases this and it goes through the opening and it pop pokes up the little hole and it hits the primer and the bullet shoots out and then this guy goes back and it cycles and when it cycles everything is reset back to the very beginning and it's waiting for you to pull the trigger again so <clears throat> that's it that's the safe action system it's uh it's pretty ingenious if you ask me and i think some other manufacturers are maybe starting to uh, mimic some amount of this and there's other safeties and other types of guns um 1911s you'll see like the the grip safety where you got to squeeze i'm not a big fan of those but they're pretty cool too um but nonetheless that's it that's the uh, glock safe safe action thanks for watching